Hey guys, me again. So good news, I made it. Uh, just I made it just over 200 miles, and I still had uh, quite a bit. I think I, I probably could have gone another 20, 30 miles. Um, my, I had two blips left on my gasometer, which of course is so hard to go by. But it said I had 23 miles remaining, and I was kind of watching it as I was driving, and it looked like I was losing one mile on the uh, on the gasometer for every two miles I was driving. So I, I don't know how fast uh, that would disappear, but um, yeah, I mean, I think I really could have gone further. I, I was trying, I really wanted to push it to Connecticut. There's a fast charger just over the border in Connecticut. And uh, I wanted to, to be able to say I, I made it there, but it was 210-ish miles total from my home in Ithaca when I left this morning and there was nothing in between. So if I got stuck, I would have been stuck. Uh, so it would have been bad. But in hindsight now, I definitely think I could have made it. Uh, so successful first test. It did take me a while to get here. I had some issues with the trailer. It was bouncing around a lot on uh, I-88. And it was just one of those horrible roads where it had the perpendicular lines, like the, the tar lines, every six feet. So this thing was just bouncing all over the place. It was nuts. Uh, a couple times, like it really just started bouncing like crazy and I had to apply the brakes and pull over and let it freaking cool down. It was, it was crazy. So I'm hoping it's not like that on the way back. Um, but everything went great. So I can show you the uh, trip odometer. I reset this when I left Ithaca. Um, 202 miles. And I've been recharging here for maybe 10 minutes. This was at uh, 23, 24. I know it's already starting to climb up. Um, temperature wise, because I was concerned about this with, with fast charging, I was worried about the temperature here because really all I have is this little thing for cooling. And they're actually, this pack and this pack are almost identical. So I have this set up right now, a monitoring temperatures and stuff for the uh, RAV4, 25% full, Let's see. 31 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius. So let's come over here and I have found that these are actually pretty accurate. And this is again, just monitoring the coolant temperature in here, uh, but 31 degrees, so 31.7, so both with with very minimal cooling both are keeping about the same temperature i think it helped that i painted that uh white because previously just driving around town uh the highest i saw was uh, i think 32 or 33 when it was black and it, it felt hot when i when i touched it before this is cool man that's great that's not hot at all um the 12 volt battery in here it did diminish during the trip it's down to 11.5. It started off, I think, at 12.2. So I uh, might have to look at something there. Right now, I got both these solar panels going to top it off. Uh, I really thought that would do a little bit better, but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll get me home. <laughs> uh, I guess that's about it. I've got the aero wheel covers on there. I This is the first time doing this trip, so I don't know how much they've helped, but they stayed put. Man, yeah, those things are just on there. Those zip ties held it really nice. I'm really happy about that. We'll go over here. Yeah, they're uh, they're on there. They look fine. So I I don't know the name of the town I'm in right now, but I met one of the EVgo charging stations at a Hannaford grocery store. Uh, it's southeast of Albany, I believe. So if you want to check that out on a map, that's that's where I am. And I'll probably be here, I'm guessing, an hour and a half. I'm not really sure how long it's going to take. That was the other part of this test, so I know how long it's going to take to, to recharge. But, uh, yeah, so I'm really, really happy about the range. It, it's better than I thought. I was hoping for 200, and I was pretty nervous about it. But it looks like I have plenty more. I, I mean, if I really wanted to push it and I was in a bind, I think I could probably get to 225, 230. Uh, I'll... I'll post some specs uh, and some measurements in the comments below when I get as soon as I get a chance. 
and I'll let you guys decipher it, see how much you think maybe I, I had left and how much further I could go. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. And I, so I guess that's about it. I think I'm gonna go inside and get some food and uh, just hang out and wait. <laughs> see you guys.